So this is a steam engine, and this is powered by alcohol, little candles basically, with a wick, a little, a little bit of fire. Usually I use two or three to make sure it gets going. And this is the flywheel, and there's the piston, and the steam that comes out, comes out of this little straw. Oh, look at it go. So once it gets going, it can go pretty good. It's got enough steam going to it. It's a little finicky. But that little piston keeps pushing the flywheel, and the flywheel carries the piston back around. Yeah, it's a little bit cheaper than that. Maybe I don't have enough water in there. You have to keep refilling it with water. Make sure it has enough water in the boiler. So the steam comes out of here and goes underneath and up into this piston. And because the flywheel opens and closes the valve to let the steam in and out of that piston. You can see there's a puddle of water that's accumulating here. So if you have a lot of steam inside your boiler from whatever source, from fire, nuclear, energy, even solar, you can make steam drive a steam engine. Now, this other one is a Stirling engine. Let's see if I can get him going. This side has a hot air, and this is the cold air. The hot air drives a piston that pushes the flywheel, and that flywheel turns over here, and this guy has an air displacement, so it pushes back into the hot side to displace the hot air. So doing that cycle, the air goes back and forth and back and forth, hot, hot, hot to cold, and it usually fires up a little faster than the steam engine, because you don't have to boil the water, you just have to heat up the air. Let's see. I can get her going. She's hot enough. The interesting thing about this guy, he's got a rubber band attached to a generator. So we haven't talked much about generators, but an electric motor, if you put electricity in, it spins. If you put mechanical energy into some types of electrical engine motors, you can generate electricity. You have to get that flywheel going if you give it a little kick get the flywheel moving on the Stirling engine. And if it goes fast enough, it will actually generate electricity and light up little LEDs in there. But he's not quite going fast enough yet. Once he gets hotter, he might go a little faster, but he's a little older and he's got a little more friction than he used to have. I don't see the lights. It doesn't seem to be lighting up. Going. Oh, there he is. You can see a little bit of blue showing up when it goes a little faster. It generates enough voltage. But he seems like he's got a little too much friction slowing him down right now. He's not generate, generating enough power. Oh, there we go. Sometimes, maybe if I put two guys in there, a little more heat. Oh, there he is. He's doing okay. So, turning heat energy into mechanical energy with a steam engine or with a Stirling engine, and the mechanical energy into electrical potential and light energy.